Hello everyone, it's Fraser 2 and back again to give you Shokugeki no Selma chapter 154 uh, entitled, I don't know, there's like no titles to where I read this. It comes like weeks after and then I'm just like confused. So you know what, I'm just going to start making up title names. Uh, chapter uh, Soma and Takami of Badass is there. That's, that's the title of this chapter. Seriously, there's no title for this chapter on the site that I'm reading it on. So I will, like, link you down below to, to where it is, but, like, no, <laughs> no title whatsoever. Uh, this really pisses me off because when the chapters get released, they don't get released traditionally on Fridays, which I thought they did. This one came out Thursday, and I was like, oh, that's a little bit early. So sorry for it being so late, guys. Uh, my fault. So it starts off with uh, Takami and Soma at the uh, Arena D, where uh, they j we just got introduced to the uh, other uh, people who are part of uh, Aizuma's division, and Soma and Takami both decide to go up to Joker. Oh, by the way, we get to know their names in this chapter. I just call him Joker because he looks like Joker from Black Butler. Uh, Joker, where we last left off with Joker, is like, you say something, you little freshman shits? And Takumi and Soma, and they're like, yeah, well, we're not going to let you say this crap. So, you know, and Maggie Moo's like all worried and scared. And it's pretty fun. And then in the next page, we actually get uh, uh, Soma's other friends, uh, Nakari's little henchman girl, uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think what I call him Dandy because he looks like Dandy and then Dandy's friend. So Space Dandy from, uh, yeah, the, the one guy who looks like Space Dandy. They all look the same or whatever. So basically, uh, they're at Venue C and uh, they just looked at the competition. And of course, guess what? Uh, the Aizuma administration, they won. So uh, those people who faced up against him lost. And they're just, they're actually reconning it. They're not stupid like Soma and Takumi where they uh, are loud and obnoxious and just trying to like defend the uh, the lower tier people. No, they're just like, okay, it's recon. I understand it's recon. We're not going to do anything more than this. That's it. And it's actually uh, one of the uh, Aizuma administration's people who are part of it is the sixth seat uh, of the Elite Ten, said to have been the best of the... Uh, Either third or second years, um, one of the which, so she's actually higher ranking up uh, than the other uh, third or second year people, which is actually interesting to see that because there have been other third or second year people such as Ishiki and the two guys make a point where it's like, screw this, the, the half-naked apron man is always the better one and uh, Nakari's like hunch henchman girl is like, shut up, you're gonna get us noticed. And uh, the sixth seat almost notices them, actually, until she gets a call. A call from uh, the girl who's in Venue D with Soma and Takumi. And she's like, yeah, we're kind of already done here. Uh, uh, how's your side of the end going? It's like, oh, no, 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 there's been no problem whatsoever. And then you just see Joker talking to, like, freaking Soma and Takumi, and it's all menacing. And then the judges come down, and they talk to them. And it's like, hey, Soma, Takumi, remember us? We were the ones who were judging you. And it's like, hey... Hey, o old man Oizumi and uh, old man Satomi, long time no see. And then Joker's like, uh, so what's all this then? Came to do a, a little recon more or less? Which is basically, uh, I, he, he figured who uh, Soma is. He's like, oh, you're the guy who defeated Aizen. Uh, you've clearly come to recon <laughs> whatever match we've done. And then uh, Soma actually makes a good point where it's like, well, I mean, all the other people, uh, I mean, like, all the other, uh, uh, classes are being uh attacked and so i mean eventually i was gonna have to do the same thing basically and come down and see how this is going and then uh, joker proceeds to become more obnoxious which soma makes a point saying is everybody like obnoxious in this school that i've seen because like from the very beginning very high elite classes until just a uh, soma who's like a commoner himself among among the masses decides to beat them and then they're like huh Maybe maybe we should change your way of uh, of cooking. So let's let's hope Soma and Joker get to face off soon. But uh, that's that's not what happens in this chapter. In fact, uh, a little something extra happens. And then you see in the next page, uh, Joker uh, stating that that's right. As one selected by Central, I have the power to make the few thousand students at this school bend to my will. So. It's not just the Elite Ten who have power now, it's essentially the people who were chosen by the Aizuma, uh district who have power as well. They probably don't have as much power as the Elite Ten, but they do, they, they do have power that they can control, as, he, as Joker stated before, thousands of other people uh, in, the, in the school. 
And then Takumi sounds like Takumi's response is the is the greatest thing ever. You sound just like a puppet. And then Joker's like, hmm. And then like Takumi gives like one of the greatest speeches ever. It's like putting so much emphasis on how you've been chosen simply screams a long and in, long standing inferiority complex. That's why you cling so dearly to having been chosen by Central. And uh, his last his, um. Takumi's last, ooh, I'm hitting the mic. Takumi's last response is actually one of the greatest things ever, and, and he says, "Could it be that you look, you lack confidence in your own cooking?" Holy crap, Takumi! What a comeback! And Soma and the judge look at him, and they're like, "Wow, yeah." And then, of course, uh, Joker is just very now pissed off at this. And Joker has like this Super Saiyan form going on. Where it's like, "I'm going to crush you!" And uh, before he could do anything, he gets stopped. By Hulk, who I stated in the last chapter looks like the guy looks like Hulk. Uh, we actually ha have his name now, and uh, his name is uh, Shigi. Uh, Sh um, Shigi basically stops him from doing anything more stupid. He's like, "Okay, look, we came to cook. That's it. We don't any. We don't want to interrupt anything. We don't want to be part of anything. This is it. This is all we've been taxed with. Let's go." So we get the names here. Uh, Joker, who I nicknamed, is actually called uh, Kusunoki Rentaro. And uh, guess what? There's another guy named Kusureki, Kusuneki Rentaro. What the frig? I just realized they have the same name. This is messed up. Wow, I think I'm reading it on the wrong translation, but they both have the same name? That's weird. I've never, I've never seen that happen before. Is it? Damn. And the uh, the girl who doesn't shut up or bitch one uh, is Yana May, and the uh, silent girl is Kofuru. So yeah, we have two people who are literally named the same, have the same first name and last name. Uh, and then there's bitch one and quiet girl who who get named in this chapter as well. As if we care at this point. You do not care about these guys' names. We, we as the reader do don't care that this guy's name is uh Ren Rentaru or whatever and he's going to lose to whoever. We don't care because we're not attached to these characters. That's why we don't care about the their names. It's just I suppose they need names, don't they? You can't just go guy number two who's gonna get beat or guy number five who's gonna get beat. You gotta give them names. You gotta give them backstories and whatnot. So, uh, whatever. And then the one of the judges is talking to so uh talking and it's like wow you've been uh, uh better well you know you you're better you were bet you're better now than you were in the uh, autumn election and uh, suddenly we see two f dark figures appear uh walking through the doors and it turns out to be Nakiri Alice and Kurakai but I'm so freaking happy because chapter oh god what was it chapter one five. Two one five one. I one of the first Shogugeki no Soma videos I made. Click over here. Shameless self plug. I know. But when I made the, that video, I was ba I basically said that like, where's Hayama? Where's Nakuri? You know, where's Ryo? We're like, where the hell happened to these guys? I mean, eventually they're gonna have to fight, right? And they do. Freaking Ryo and Nakuri is there. And the funny, the funniest thing ever is that Nakuri is there because she defeated some guy in a Shogugeki, the cutting edge. Uh, the uh, I'm assuming it was a. It's called the Cutting Edge uh, Technology, I think, or just Cutting Edge. So when she defeated their captain, uh, basically, she all she thought was that, hey, I just get the room and whatever equipment that's there. But no, apparently, I'm actually their captain, and now I have to fight for my my uh, my club. And Rio's there because, well, Rio has to follow his ma quote-unquote master, uh, his miss, his lady. I don't know what... It's weird now. He could literally leave her and it wouldn't make a difference so anyways um they're in and and they see soma and uh it's like it's a pleasant surprise to to both of them it's like hello how you doing and then someone's like oh and and takumi is there and he's like mm, wait did you talk to me ask the question that i think a lot of people ask he's like did you even belong to Risa society and as i said before she defeated some dude it was okay so the research society that uh, she defeated the captain was the cutting edge research society and uh of course she gets the room and whatnot as i explained earlier before and so uh when she saw her name being mentioned in the paper that she has to fight she was very surprised about it but of course she she uh she's there to to go fight oh is she uh, in the next panel, we see uh, Soma. It's like, oh, 
so you're also a target of the survivor's perch. And then she's like, oh, Captain has a nice ring to it. I wouldn't mind being called Captain Alice from now on. And that Takumi's there and he's like, well, well said for someone who didn't even know she was a captain this whole time. And uh, Soma asks one of the, one of the greatest questions in, in this chapter so far. And it's, oh, so you're participating in this uh, battle, are you? And Nakuri's response is fucking like, I loved it. I loved it. It was, no, I'm not. Rio is. And it's amazing because we finally get to see Rio. Because here's the thing. It, it was the, when the Ottoman action came, Nakuri lost to Soma, so she couldn't participate more. But when she faced with Kura, uh, Kuraba, Rio, Rio Kuraba? Rio, Rio Sama, when she faced with Rio, like when they were kids a long, long time ago, they were kind of like on an even kind of play. I think they both still are on an even playing field, but I think he just, uh, he's higher, he's just better uh, because he tied with Soma and um, he, he, because he tied with Soma, uh, he's better than Nakari in cooking. So strategically speaking, it makes sense. Also in the next panel, you see Joker, uh, just kind of go uh, there, and he's like, what the hell is happening here? And he's like, uh, so uh, they're going to they're gonna fight, obviously, and Joker's standing there, and he's like, more importantly right now, I'm kind of pissed off, so I'm going to be taking my anger out on you. And when he, once he said that, once he said, I'm taking my anger out on you, I just started freaking laughing, because I was like, you you truly do not know what this, what who your opponent is and like how angry he can actually become okay and then in the next panel it proved me right Rio is like fucking fiery up is super saying up man he's gonna try to he's not gonna try he's gonna win Rio's gonna win this let me tell you why because uh he has he has shown in the series that he can cook uh very well in fact uh match up to soma and so, uh now it all actually depends at this point is has rio evolved in his cooking and is he capable uh i my prediction is that of course he's going to win the match without a doubt he's going to win but what is to happen after he wins that's that's a concern to me now is like um like uh, of course they're gonna win it but like what what happens next i don't know because then of course there's gonna be another one it's gonna be either the don rs which uh maybe soma might fight for the don rs because he's kind of technically speaking part of a, uh, he is a member kind of technically so he could easily defend the don rs um of course the spice society goes to uh hayama without a doubt so my question is uh to you guys is what dish do you think they're going to be cooking uh personally if it's real i think it's a seafood dish uh something to do lines with the sea he's been very passionate he's shown that he's passionate about cooking with uh, seafood and that he's very good at doing it as well uh so that's that i think it's a, i think it's a safe bet to say that it's a seafood dish uh but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think uh, his di dish is going to be or what the theme is going to be how the outcome is uh comment like subscribe uh, all the works do you like my my officially new uh background uh i, I have everything set up now i got a suit and tie well it's not really a suit it's just kind of a, a shirt and tie i got other stuff and there's more videos to come and i'll see you in the next week of shokugeki no soma chapter 151 Nope, sorry, 155. I'll see you next week. Oh, I'm losing my mind here, guys. Bye!